Hey everyone, today we are going to learn about pair of linear equations, the basic concepts and the basic terminologies. For understanding this, let's consider a situation. I went to a fruit shop and bought one mango and one apple. That shopkeeper charged me 12 rupees for one mango and one apple. I was coming home thinking about the individual prices. To find their prices, I assumed the price of one mango be x rupees and price of an apple be y rupees. So therefore, total expense for one mango and one apple can be given as x plus y equals to 12. Since I don't know their individual prices, I can assume many values for x and y which gives me total of 12. Like if I assume the price of one mango is 3 rupees, then price of apple has to be 9 rupees so that the total becomes 12. If I assume the price of mango as 2 rupees then price of apple has to be 10 rupees so that the total comes out to be 12. Similarly if I assume the price of one mango is 4.5 rupees then for apple it has to be 7.5 rupees which gives us total of 12. Like that I can go on checking for different values since the values for x and y are varying from time to time they are called as variables and we can see the equal to sign over here which shows that left hand side values and right hand side values are equal therefore this mathematical expression is called as equation now we have the equation x plus y equals to 12 we can see that there is nothing in the power that means there is a power of 1 when powers of the variables in the equation are 1 that equation is called as linear equation now you must be thinking why this equation is called as linear equation. Linear means straight. Such equations where powers of the variables are 1, they give straight lines. But how do we know that this equation gives a straight line? For understanding that, let's take help of these values which we have assumed for this equation. x plus y equals to 12. So for that we have to use the graph. So here is the graph. First value we have assumed is x is 2 rupees and y is 10 rupees so x is 2 y is 10 this is the point and next value we assumed is x equals to 3 rupees and y equals to 9 rupees so x is 3 and y is 9 so point is over here and the next value we have assumed is x is 4.5 rupees and y is 7.5 rupees so the point is here so we have plotted all the three points let's join them so from this we can see that we are getting a straight line. So from here we can conclude that whenever the powers of the variables of the equation is 1 that equation gives us straight lines and therefore they are called as linear equations. Here we need to note that we have some equations like x equal to 4. This equation have only one variable that is x and power of this variable is 1. Let's see what the graph says about this equation. So here is a graph and this line passes through the point 4 on the x-axis. This line is parallel to y-axis just because for every value of y we have value of x as 4. And since this equation gives us straight line it is called as linear equation. Let's consider one more example like y equals to 7. Here again we can see that there is only one variable y and power of variable is 1. So let's see what the graph has to say about this equation. So here is the graph. This line passes through the point 7 on the y axis and this line is parallel to x axis. Just because for every value of x we have value of y as 7. So this gives straight line. So therefore it is called as linear equation. So from this we come to know equations like x equal to 4 and y equal to 7 are also called as linear equations. We can take this as note number one. Now note number two. There are some equations like x square equals to 4 or x square plus y square equals to 2 etc. Here we can see that powers of the variables are more than 1. So therefore when powers of the variables are greater than 1 then such equations are not called as linear equations. But still, I have to find the value of one mango and the value of one apple. 
So this time I have sent my brother to the same shop. He bought two mangoes and one apple for 17 rupees. As we have already assumed the price of one mango as x rupees and price of one apple as y rupees. We can write this as 2x that is 2 mangoes plus 1 apple and total expenses 17 rupees. We can see that here we got one more linear equation since the powers of the variables are 1. So for finding the value of x and y we have to deal with two equations. One is x plus y equals to 12 and second is 2x plus y equals to 17. Since we are dealing with two linear equations we can say that we are dealing with pair of linear equations. For finding the values of the variables we need to note one point is that number of equations we have should always be equals to number of variables. Here we have two equations and we have to find the values of two variables that is x and y. Solving the linear equations means finding the values of x and y. We have already seen the graph of x plus y equals to 12. Now we have to see the graph for this equation. For that we require some values for x and y. So let's assume some random values. Let's say if x is 3 then it is multiplied by 2, 2 3s are 6. Then y has to be 11 so that total becomes 70. Let's assume one more value. Uh, if I say x is 4 then it is multiplied by 2, 2 4s are 8 then value of y has to be 9 so that total becomes 70. So now we have two set of values for x and y. One is x is 3, y is 11 and other one is x equals to 4, y equals to 9. Let's see how this graph looks like. Here is the graph. Here you can already see a line for the equation x plus y equals to 12. Now we have to draw a line for 2x plus y equals to 70. And we have assumed some values like x is 3 rupees then y is 11 rupees so x is 3 y is 11 point is here and the next point is x is 4 rupees y is 9 rupees so point is over here so after joining them we get the second line that is for the equation 2x plus y equals to 70 here again you can see we got a straight line because it was a linear equation these two lines are intersecting at point 5 7 and we take the point of intersection as the solution so therefore x equals to 5 that is price of one mango is 5 rupees and y equals to 7 that is price of one apple is 7 rupees. This method of solving linear equations is called graphical method. In graphical method we get three types of questions. Questions for intersecting lines, questions for coincident lines and questions for parallel lines. The question which we have solved for price of one mango and price of an apple is of intersecting lines type because those two lines were intersecting and these two we are going to learn in next session so for intersecting lines we always get only one solution that is the point of intersection which is also called as common point that solution is always unique and for the linear equations for which we get the solution those linear equations are called as consistent linear equation so in this session we have learned course for grade 10th CBSE Math is available in pen drive and SD card format. Click on the link to buy now. To know more, you may also check the description box below.